Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone, I'm Aisha Rosalie. This is a video that I am the most excited to make in a very long time. I'm going to talk to you guys about how I'm preparing for Islamic scholarship, inshallah. Inshallah, I'm hoping to inspire people to go on this journey, to go on this very rewarding journey of becoming a scholar, inshallah, of just learning about the religion. It doesn't... You don't have to get official titles or anything. I mean, this is just dunya after all. It's about going on that journey of learning and becoming closer to Allah. It's such a special journey. So I'm hoping to inspire people and also give you guys some tips on how you can prepare if you are somebody that's actually going on to an Alama course this year or any kind of Islamic course. Tips that can help you prepare for that course. Now, this course that I'm going on to is a five-year course. In order to join this course, um, you had to prove proficiency in Arabic. So I had to do two years of Arabic before I joined this course. I just want to put that out there. I've already studied two years of Arabic. Um, Alhamdulillah, because of those studies, I was accepted onto this course. And so my journey of um, learning has not just started. I've already done two years of Arabic. So it's very difficult. Alhamdulillah, very rewarding. I was emailed a week ago with like hundreds of lectures and lots of Arabic homework and books that I have to read before this course. So I was presented a month before my course start date with lots and lots to do. So obviously when I got that email, I panicked a little bit. And then after that panic, I set out a schedule, a very firm schedule in order to keep me on track in order to prepare for this course, inshallah. So come with me see what I do on my day to day um, in order to prepare for this course. I will show you a mixture of things that I'm required to do by the school, like the lectures that I have to watch and things that I do extra just to uh, get that step further ahead before I start, inshallah. It's also worth pointing out that you do not need to pay money in order to have a schedule like the schedule I'm gonna show you now. Yes, I am paying for the course that I'm doing, but if you like the schedule that I have, if you think there's benefit in it, you can incorporate that schedule into your life to whatever extent you want to, but you can replace the lectures that I'm watching, which are part of my education, so they're paid for, with lectures on YouTube. You can replace it with Mufti Manga or Omar Suleiman, whoever it is that you watch, you know. If you wanna get more into learning about Islam, but you don't have the money to, or you, you don't have the time to, there's so many free resources out there. You can replace that. The Arabic that I do, again, you can find free resources for Arabic online and you can replace. So the entire schedule that I have, despite me paying money for this schedule, you can do it for free. I want you to bear that in mind. So anybody, no matter where you are in the world, can, can get benefit from the schedule, inshallah. So I'm currently waking up at around nine, which is really late. Before I became pregnant, I used to get up earlier. But as a pregnant woman, I have been sleeping a lot more. I get a good lay and I get up at nine. And the first thing I do, inshallah, is I make a smoothie. Um, it's super, super, super important to keep your tools sharp. And my most important tool right now is my mind, my heart. So in order to enhance my mind, I have a smoothie. I've been trying to eat super healthy because if you're putting lots of bad stuff in your body, it's really hard to focus and concentrate and live well. So healthy eating is something that's very important for me right now, not just because I'm going on this scholarly journey, inshallah, but also because I'm pregnant. So it's very important for me to be eating healthy. So I blended up some fruit. Um, I got some coconut milk in here and i've also added some like vitamin protein powder type stuff for pregnant women i really like to take this time before i start my day to set my intention to make dua to speak to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make sure that my intention is right that i'm doing this for a, a good noble reason and to tell allah what it is i want to achieve why it is i want to achieve it and how everything I'm doing is to become closer and to become a better servant, inshallah, a better servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I think it's really important to set that intention. I think if you forget to set that intention, you can often forget why you're doing what you're doing and you can easily get lazy and you can lose gratitude. So it's really important 
to have gratitude in this journey. So this is my work desk, inshallah, this is where I work. I've got a picture of the Kaaba here to inspire me. Um, I've got my notepad, which is full of notes, alhamdulillah. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is watch my first lecture. So my first lecture I've got this morning is about the etiquettes of a student of knowledge. I need to watch that. It's around an hour and a half lecture. It's in five parts, so um, probably like six, seven hours in total of lectures to do with etiquettes of student of knowledge I need to watch. I've already done one of these lectures last night, so I've already been studying about it a little bit. And um, it's, it's a very, very, very amazing class that I really feel like I've learned a lot from. How I should be seeking knowledge, how I should present myself in class, how I should take notes. It's kind of teaching you how to learn, which is amazing because I didn't get a proper education. So this is really important for me. So now I'm just taking some time to do some cleaning, inshallah. Cleaning is very relaxing for me. It might not be the same for everybody, but it's a good way for me to just process the information I just learned, have some time to myself to think about what I learn, the importance behind what I've learned. Okay, so now the homework. So I have um, eight different, I have, eight different units of homework that I have to do for each unit that we're studying. So it tells us the text that we're gonna be studying, the author, and then for our homework, we have to go ahead and pretty much translate this and answer questions about it. So this is um, a scholar by the name Muhammad al Taib al-Ibrahim. He has done a grammatical analysis of the last three surahs of the Quran here. So this is all the grammatical stuff. But yeah, you pretty much have to translate it and understand it. And then unit two, which is Arabic grammar. You have to translate and do this text. As you can see, I've already started working on it a little bit. And then we have theology. This one was very, very difficult. It's a very difficult piece of text. Um, but I finished that one now, alhamdulillah. Prophetic biography, alhamdulillah. This is all about the Sira. We have to translate this. This is just some basic homework to get us used to uh, what kind of work we're going to be doing. Islamic law. There we go. Basul al Tafsir Kitab Itam. Again, this one I haven't done yet. Principles of Islamic law. This is all about Hanafi law. Again, I haven't done this one yet. And Hadith studies. Yeah, so I've still got a lot more of these to complete. These are just introductions to the books we're gonna be studying. So for each unit, we're gonna, we have one Arabic book that we're gonna be studying. And it's very difficult, but it's also gonna be very rewarding, inshallah. So let's get to it, let's Let's translate some of this and let's figure out what it's trying to say, inshallah. So now it's time for my second lecture, inshallah. This lecture is about logic. Yeah, so this is, again, something that I had no idea about before I started learning. The Sheikh is so knowledgeable, mashallah. Learning all about logic and logical arguments and logic in thinking and it's a lot of it's in Arabic. I mean, we're studying from an Arabic book. So Alhamdulillah, my Arabic vocabulary and my Arabic skills are also increasing in this class. It's very difficult, but I absolutely love it. The teacher is great. So time for lecture two. Let's study some logic. Mantik. So now guys, this is some extra curricular I'm doing because I'm a nerd and it's always good to do extra. I'm very nervous about the place my Arabic skills are at right now and I really want to have the best Arabic possible before I start the course so that when we're doing all of our texts, as you guys, I've already told you guys, everything we're studying is gonna be in Arabic. When we go to those texts, I'm not gonna be struggling too much with the Arabic. I can focus more on finding the meaning 
and learning about that instead. So I um, signed up to Path to Arabic. It's a website. Uh, if you guys want to sign up, you can find it in the description, inshallah. They're really, really, really great at helping me increase my Arabic levels. Like stuff on flashcards, vocabulary. There's um, big stories written in Arabic that I can translate and then I have to answer questions for. So lots and lots of really positive stuff on here. So I try and do at least one of these a day. Alhamdulillah, I've nearly completed the entire course, which I'm very happy about. So you'll see I'm on level four, which is the final level. And each class, it kind of, they talk you through a grammatical rule and then you do exercises where you have to translate texts and you have to uh, learn vocabulary. And then you have to do a quiz. And then if you pass the quiz, if you get over, I think it's 70 marks, then you're allowed to move on to the next lesson. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now, but it's fine. Um, it's time to do the last lecture of the day and um, we're doing introduction to tafsir. So studying about how tafsir was, how the tafsir books were formulated, who were reliable, things like that. It's really, really, really interesting course. Again, it's in Arabic and the, the Sheikh will translate the Arabic to English as well to help people who aren't so fluent like me. So that's good too. Um, so my Arabic skills are increasing and also I'm learning a lot about how tafsir was developed and how scholars um, made tafsir and what tafsirs are good. Going all the way back to people from a very long time ago and it's super interesting and I love it. So it's evening time now and it's time to do I guess one of the most important things, one of the most important parts of my day and that's Quran. Um, it's currently 11 p.m. so I pretty much spend from 11 till 12 just laying in bed uh, relaxed reading Quran and um, trying to do memorization inshallah as memorization is very important so I use this app I don't know what the name of it is. It's like a Quran memorization app. It's like one of the first apps that comes up if you type in on um, Play Store Quran memorization. And I will um, play the surahs that I know and recite along with them. And um, then I will add normally around like five new surahs i will uh, i don't memorize them but i listen to them over and over again so that i'm able to read with the reciter and then the next day i'll try and memorize them inshallah um that's i feel like that's like the best way for me to remember my day alhamdulillah finished i will now go to bed inshallah and tomorrow wake up and do it all again but it's worth it it's an amazing journey and i hope you guys have gained something from this video inshallah i hope um, there's something in this that you can incorporate into your day to make your time more valuable inshallah um, i'm really happy with the schedule that i have right now it's a very fulfilling schedule it's the schedule i've been doing for the past week now and um, I have to keep it up until my course starts inshallah so I've got like another three weeks left of doing it and it's amazing and it's such a huge blessing uh, I recommend doing Islamic scholarship I recommend learning about Islam just every single day if you get the chance to it's one of the most rewarding experiences and it honestly will give you so much baraka and so much just happiness in your day I couldn't recommend it more so this is my preparation for Islamic scholarship please make dua for me wish me luck inshallah thank you guys for watching assalamu alaikum